Christina Farley, and today I'm going to talk to you about author's purpose. Authors write for several reasons, and it's important for us to be able to identify what those reasons are. When we read or we write a piece, it is good for us to understand why that piece was written or why we are going to write it. To help us remember author's purpose, think of it as being as easy as pie. That looks yummy, doesn't it? So, we look at our three parts, which are persuade, inform, and entertain. That's the three parts of author's purpose. So let's talk about the first part, which is to persuade. These are found in commercials, advertisements, or newspapers. They're there to convince you and make you believe in something. An example of persuasion is peppermint patties, which are the best chocolate in the whole wide world. They taste delicious, you can decorate them, and share them with friends. The second one is to inform. And to inform is to teach you something or tell you about something. These can be found in textbooks, cookbooks, newspapers, Wikipedia, or online. Here's an example of a text that informs. Cats are mammals with fur and four paws. A domestic cat can run up to 30 miles per hour. They communicate by purring, growling, and hissing. The last part of pie is to entertain. This is to make you laugh or to enjoy the piece that you're reading. You're going to find these in poems, stories, plays, and comic strips. An example of an entertaining production is the Star Wars film series with memorable characters, epic battles, and funny dialogue. So, when you're reading or writing a piece, it's important to always know what the author's purpose is. Is it to persuade, inform, or entertain? And if you can identify that, it's going to be as easy or as yummy as pie. Cheers!